Noisy Pixel. Building in games is not uncommon, especially when titles try new ambitious things with their stories. Visual novels are no different, but there are a few different paths the genre has to take to introduce the player to the game's world. Harmoise's newest visual novel introduces players to a world where aeroplanes are people's primary method of transportation. With that said, I time myself along for this ride. I'm Jacob Cavanaugh, and this is Noisy Pixels Review for Under One Wing. Under One Wing tells the story of Junichi Sasaki, our invisible protagonist of this story, who has just arrived at his new dormitory as he finishes up his high school years at Showa Academy. But did you really expect this dormitory living to go so smoothly? In classic Orojay fashion, the manager has accidentally booked three individuals for Junichi's room when there was only supposed to be one. And on top of that, he shares a building with five attractive girls. Interestingly, Junichi isn't the perverted type you'd expect from this story. He's actually instead pretty decent and avoids moments of fan service, which means, of course, they end up happening accidentally. But what about the planes, you ask? I mean, that was the big thing about this title. Well, characters partake in events called fairy fights, where they soar into the sky with fake weapons and try to take each other down. This sport is very popular and the lore behind the event is actually quite significant. To double down on this, splash screens of planes and dogfights are used between scenes. The story includes also a bit of history about unused planes from World War II, which is actually quite interesting to say the least. Each character falls into their own role and the game overall has a strong supporting cast. I enjoyed the camaraderie between characters as their personalities were generally pretty loose, which allowed them to have lots of fun together. The game also features a fair amount of CG scenes. There is an adult version of the game which isn't totally necessary as the four emancipable character routes don't feature H scenes until much later in the plot and each route is simply left up to a choice in which route you want to take. And that's about 80% of the way into the game. I would have preferred a more complex system given that the game allows you to jump back to your previous choices. I expected that would be relevant in some way. The biggest downside is just how consistent the threads between routes can be. Junichi himself has a thread abruptly cut off when you go on to take a couple of routes. This ended up making me feel like I was missing something as events were referenced, but then the route would end. This had me expecting there was gonna be a true ending after all the routes were completed. But nope, th that's that's it, the game just ends. Under One Wing features some beautiful CG scenes and a nice bit of lore for players to wrap their imagination around. I ended up really enjoying the characters' interactions with each other and felt like there was a solid base for a grand story to be told in this world. However, the messy endings left me feeling like the story was left incomplete. Still, I would easily recommend this title for its fantasy-ish setting and its strong cast of characters. Noisy Pixel is giving Under One Wing a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you all so much for watching. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe and ring the little bell to stay up to date on all of our future content. <laughs>